Hi everyone, Susan and Rudy here, coming to you from one of my favorite spaces in my home. And it occurred to me the other day that all of these short videos that are being offered from the Integrative Oncology Center um, are providing a wonderful opportunity for you to begin a home practice. Very often in class, I talk about a particular yoga technique or a breathing technique that would be a wonderful thing to practice at home. And really, how often does that happen? Um, just, you know, once you leave class, you know, very often it's just out of your mind. I, you know, that happens to me. But with all of these wonderful uh, short video tools that are available to you, um, meditation techniques, qigong techniques, um, acupressure, cooking, yoga, artistic journaling, what a wonderful way to start to be able to build your home practice in a very doable um, short chunks that can be put together. So it just got me to thinking that maybe as you try out some of these videos that are offered, <clears throat> that maybe you first see what you like. So notice what resonates with you, um, what particular practices resonate with you. And then as you're practicing them, choose some different spaces in your home. Find a space that you feel really comfortable in. And taking a few moments before the practice, after the practice, to really feel, how did I feel in the space doing whatever video I chose to do? Um, so this might take a few tries. You might move around the house. <laughs> um, and try different spaces, gathering objects that make you feel comfortable in your space. And then once you find one or two places where you feel good practicing, and after doing them a few times, then maybe you want to start linking them together. And an example would be maybe you start with a qigong technique and then you add an energizing yoga technique or maybe a calming meditation depending on um, what your mood is that day and then you follow up with um, a little time afterwards of journaling while having a healthy snack so these are ways that voila here you are with your own home practice. So you're starting to build in small chunks um, your own very own practice that you can use daily or uh, anytime you feel you need it. And remember that can change with you. So you know it's the other nice thing about these different techniques and tips is you can mix and match with however you're feeling that day. And you might find that you've created a new habit after a while and that will carry on into the time when we can all be together again. So really giving you a well-rounded new habit to, in addition to our time together. So I just wanted to share my thoughts. Um, with you and tell you all that I miss you very much and cannot wait to be back together again. I'm going to close with um, a poem by Donna Folds. And I, oh, here we go. It's called Always Home. I am a ship tied to this dock by the flimsiest of ropes. A good, strong gust of wind, and I'm free. The polished timbers of my hull slipping through the water with such ease. 
the far mountains in the twilight are bewitching, and I might go there, though the open sea calls too. Instead of plotting a course, navigating my way to a chosen destination, I surrender to the currents and the waves. My sails are full, and the one thing I'm sure of is that letting go will bring the best result. Maps and plans are like so much spray from breaking waves, while allowing the journey to unfold in its own wild way will always bring me home. From my home to yours, with gratitude and in friendship, I wish you Namaste.